Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Heather, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Tello EDU drone. So I decided to buy the Tello EDU drone after I went to CES in Las Vegas this past January. DJI did not have the Tello EDU drone there, but they did have some pamphlets and some videos about it. Um, I'm pretty excited about it because, you know, there's opportunities to do uh, Swift programming, Scratch programming, Python programming with it. So I am looking forward to learning how to do all these different things that I can do with the Tello EDU drone. So the packaging was very nice and secure. I had this shipped to me uh, through USPS or FedEx or one of those type of delivery services. So it was packed nice and tight so it didn't get damaged at all during shipping. So it came packaged very nicely there. Uh, there is the battery is in there with the drone, um, the battery pack there, and then the drone itself. The propellers came already attached to the device, so I didn't need to do any sort of setup or anything with it. So that was really quite nice. The operating manual came in a nice little box. It really probably didn't need to be in a box, but uh, it comes in quite a few different languages. What I did is I just went on to uh, Rise Robotics website and pulled down the operating manual there so I could just save the PDF. It also came with a couple extra propellers just in case because, well, you know, just in case. It also came with four mission pads that you can use while you're, uh, if you're programming the Tello EDU. I have not had a chance to use these just yet. It does look like there is a separate user manual to learn how to use these mission pads when you are doing programming with the Tello EDU. And say hello to Cole. He likes to be in my videos. You can see there, that's where the battery goes. So you just slide it right in there after it's charged up. So the battery's in there, and then you can see where the uh, camera is. So I did have a little bit of difficulty figuring out where to actually plug in the charger to power uh, to charge the battery. Um, so that was that did take me a little bit of time, but I eventually did find it. And there's the charging port right there. The battery did come slightly charged, so I was able to use it right away. Uh, but you can just plug it into any sort of USB charger and plug, uh, charge up the battery right away. So here I am going to attempt the first flight of the Tello EDU. What I did is I installed the app on an old cell phone. It's an Android phone. It doesn't have cell service as long as you have Wi-Fi because you will connect to the Tello through a Wi-Fi signal. So as long as you have Wi-Fi on an old cell phone, you can certainly install that app. And there's our first flight. Cole loved it. He was barking at it a little bit. As you can see, he's having a good time. And the propellers weren't as loud as I thought they were going to be. This was actually not very loud. I could use it in the house just fine. And so here, I'm just playing around with the different settings. I'm actually turning it around 360 degrees and taking some video. So just kind of playing around with the different settings, figuring out how it works, waving into the camera, just having a little bit of fun with it. So thanks for watching my Tello EDU drone unboxing. I will be creating a whole video series for programming the Tello EDU. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.